Hello, and welcome to the Prospect Podcast here on hawkfanatic.com. I do so many podcasts, I forget which one I'm doing sometimes, but looking at Trevor, uh, Trevor Lauk, uh, finally learned how to pronounce his last name from uh, him, him himself. So now I feel confident in, uh, in uh, knowing how to pronounce his name. Hopefully Gary Dolphin, uh, the play-by-play voice of the Hawkeyes, gets his name right when he gets out on the field. How are you, Trevor? I'm good. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having or thanks for coming on with us. And um, you get here this weekend, right? What? How are you? I mean, what's what's kind of the emotions right now, knowing that you start college in a few days? Yeah, right now it's just excitement. Um, I'm sure when it gets a little bit closer to it, like the day of, I'll get nervous and stuff. But right now I'm just excited to move in and show everyone what I got. <laughs> Does it feel kind of surreal? Because this is kind of what you work for, and now that next phase is going to start for you. Yeah, definitely surreal. I mean, you go through the recruiting process, and you're just trying to pick a school, but then when the time comes, you actually have to move into the school. It's kind of funny. And then all summer I've been working, and I know that I'm working for this opportunity, so I'm excited. Some background for folks here. Trevor is from Indiana, uh, Indianapolis, Rancali High School. Uh, I covered a Rancali game once. It was a playoff game. Cannot remember the kid I was scouting at the time, but a, a lot of times, like when Iowa plays Purdue or Indiana, if they're recruiting guys in that area, like I went and saw David Bell and Justin Britt and those yeah. guys, uh, you know, when they were in high school. So it was kind of cool. So I remember seeing your school play, and, and your school actually upset. The team that I was watching, I can't remember. Maybe it was Lawrence. Do you guys play Lawrence Central? Probably uh, not. We, we haven't recently, but maybe. Okay. The- <laughs> but anyway, off on a tangent there. Um, how would you kind of uh, capsulize your high school career and your experience uh, at your high school? Uh, like football wise? Yeah, just overall, socially, just kind of how you feel it prepared you for, as we talked about this next step. Yeah, I feel like it prepared me really well. I mean, we come from a – or I come from a winning program at Ron Colley. Um, We have 10 state championships. Um, my dad won one at Ron Colley in 93. Wow. Um, I was lucky enough to win one in 2020 as a sophomore. Um, I played three years of varsity. I lost four games. So, I mean – when you think about that, I mean, it's good that you win so many games, but when it's like that, you can only remember. I mean, I only remember the losses, which is sad. But, I mean, from the winning program and the tradition-wise, I feel like it kind of related to Iowa, the program-wise, the stability, and I think it set me up really well for the future. Um, academically, what are you going to study in college? Do you know yet? Uh, I'm a major in business, so just because I really don't know what I want to do yet. <laughs> after, so just keep my options open. Why'd you choose that field? Just kind of have an interest in just kind of find yeah. out what it's like? Yeah, I have an interest in it and the, the categories. I took some things like that in high school, and I feel like I was naturally good at it. So I just want to continue seeing if I really do like it. Um, how do you feel coming in physically? Uh, what Where are you at weight-wise, height-wise, and kind of how do you feel coming in uh, ready to compete this summer? Uh, I feel great physically. I've been working out this summer in the weight room and running and I feel really good. Um, I'm sitting around 6'6", six, six, uh, 290. So I feel like that's good for me to go in at, and then I'll let them do what they want with me, put some weight on. How do you approach this, Trevor? Do you go in saying, you know, let's just see what happens? Do you go in, you know, with the mindset, I want to play right away? What What's your approach to this? Uh, More of the first thing, just see what happens. I know that we're going to have an experienced offensive line this year. I don't have any expectations to play year one, but, I mean, I feel like if I can help the team, obviously I want to help the team, but I just want to come in doing everything I can to get better and then eventually help the team. At this point, what do you feel like are the strengths of your game and what things do you feel like you're going to need to work on most when you get, you know, when you first get to the next level? Um. Well, we're at my high school, we were kind of run heavy. Um, our running back led the state in rushing, so we ran a lot. So I feel like that's one of my strengths is run blocking. And then so the – I mean, if I had to pick something to work on, it would be the pass the pass, pass pro. And I, mean, I feel like I'm pretty good at it, but obviously I can get better. So I feel like that's one thing I want to work on. 
Do you feel comfortable along the line? Do you feel like you can play different positions if need be? Yeah, I feel like I could play anywhere. I have played anywhere. I feel like I can. I haven't played center, but uh, <laughs> if they needed me to, I would I would do it. Um, I know you had some success uh, in other sports as well. How do you think those things have prepared you uh, for college as well? I know recently track just wrapped up for you and you had a successful track season. Yeah, for sure. They have definitely helped. I mean, just they're not they, – I mean, I don't know if they help is – I don't know how to put this. They just help me as an athlete. Obviously, they're not going to help me. Throwing a shot put is not going to help me in on the football field. But as an athlete and playing basketball, it all just helps uh, me stay in shape. My feet – my footwork gets better. Um, I'm constantly competing against others, so I feel like it has helped a lot. I hear a lot of people say that, that, you know, that – you know, you can train off season for football, like just play football and train all the season long and, and 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 devote your time to that sport. But but there's something to be said for competing, right? In live action, whether it be throwing the shot or, you know, going for a rebound. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I agree. hundred <laughs> percent with that. Um just background wise, was football always the sport for you? You're a big guy. So was that it? Or when you were younger, I'm like little Trevor. You know, eight year old. What what was kind of your favorite sport, and, and what kind of eventually led to football standing out? Well, um, yeah, when I was younger, like what did you say, eight years old, uh, <laughs> yeah. I played all, all three: uh, basketball, football, and baseball. And I never really had a favorite. Um, whichever was in season, that's what I would work hardest at, and that's what I would go put all my you know effort towards. But and then I'd say I didn't really have a favorite sport until sophomore year. Um, that's when I started to really focus on football. After the state championship, I was like, I started on the line, and I was like, this is fun. I think I'm pretty good at it. I want to work hard at this. When did uh, the recruiting attention start, and kind of how did that build? Um, it started after my sophomore year. Um, really, it was kind of weird because, like, you would think you'd start with some phone calls and stuff, but mine just started straight off with an offer. Um, Kentucky was my first offer. And then ever since then, I it was about two years worth of calls and texts and recruiting and visits and stuff. So it was, yeah, it was good. Did you enjoy the process and kind of how did you sift through things? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, I don't really, I don't really think about like committing early. I knew that. I didn't want to be that type of guy to commit and then decommit. I wanted to be, you know, when I committed, I wanted to be a hundred percent in on it. So I enjoyed the process and took my time with it and made a final decision of Iowa, which I'm very happy with. You officially visited Michigan state and Iowa. Was it down to those two? And what, what kind of separated Iowa if, if that was the case? Yeah, I would say it was pretty close to those two. And then what separated Iowa was, um, I don't know. The there was a lot of things. Um <laughs> the tradition, the O line tradition, the consistency of the program, Coach Ferentz, Coach Barnett, um, the guys that I got to be around in my recruiting class. I connected well with them. And then like I said, the tradition of the program and especially the offensive line and then the coaches really, really was all I needed to be able to commit. You mentioned Coach Barnett. What, how would you char characterize your relationship with him, and why do you feel like you know you spend so much time with your position coach that you're it's like family? What what makes you feel like you can grow under him? Yeah, I feel like we have a good relationship. I mean, he like fits his personality and stuff fits what I like. Um, he's kind of down to earth, but also will get after you at the same time. So I mean, you can have a conversation about life, and then when you're on the field, he's gonna cuss at you and do what you need to do to get you better on the field but yeah that started from the start of our relationship I mean I could tell from the start he was different and yeah I'm looking forward to the the future with him for sure you come from a, a basketball state Indiana's the basketball yeah. state but it seems like maybe football gets a little bit uh undersold a lot of good players especially out of Indy um we've had yeah. them here and, and they're all over the college football landscape uh how would you uh promote football in the state of Indiana, high school football. Oh, yeah, it's different for sure. You're right. We do get the name the basketball state, but Central Indiana's football talent the past couple of years has been crazy, and I think it's starting to get put on notice a little bit more. 
especially with guys like, I don't know, Dewan and David Bell, you're right about that. So, yeah, it's legit. It's legit football here. Got a lot more to talk about with Trevor here, but wanted to let folks know that support for this podcast comes from Systems Unlimited, celebrating 50 years of providing services to people living with disabilities and mental health needs throughout East Central Iowa. A list of their services and upcoming events can be found at SUI.org. That is SUI.org. Systems Unlimited, doing great work in Eastern Iowa for a long time, over 50 years. So, Uh, Thank you for their support. We're going to hear from a few more of our sponsors here, and then Trevor and I will be back on the other side to talk about some more stuff. And we are back here on the Hawk Fanatic Prospect Podcast, joined by Trevor Lauk from Indianapolis. He will be here in a few short days to start his Hawkeye career on the offensive line. Uh, I talked to Leighton uh, a while back for this podcast. You're rooming with him. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, we are. What's that bond like? I mean, you guys are from the same area, um, you know, of the country, and now you get to kind of grow together here. Yeah, it's cool. We've like known of each other since probably eighth grade. And then as the recruiting process started, we got to be become a little bit closer than obviously he committed first and then when he committed, he was always in my ear about committing and wanting to come and be teammates together. So then obviously since I committed, we've gotten a lot closer and we're rooming obviously. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So have you ever wrestled him or has he ever challenged you in one-on-one you guys with different winter sports, preparing yourself for offensive line? Uh, Not yet. We have not played each other yet in anything, but I'm sure it's, it's bound to happen. How would you kind of characterize you? You spoke about it earlier about the strong bond in this twenty-three Iowa class. What what's what's kind of brought you guys together? Do you think? Uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, I know it started on the official visit. Um, usually, uh, you know, you might have some groups of people, like two or three guys hanging out in, in little circles. But I mean, I feel like at the official visit, like everyone was together, and like we just got I don't know something clicked with us all, and then when. I come in and got into the little group chat that they're all in and we talk in it daily and stuff. So, I mean, I feel like it's special. Um, the bond we had before we've even stepped on campus. Not to give away uh, private conversations, but what do you guys talk about? I mean, what, what's the, what are the conversations like topically and, and just what's kind of, uh, is it co- just common uh I don't know, interest, things like that. Yeah. It's it started off like just common interest. I mean, it's it's Snapchat. So like <laughs> people are going fishing, they'll send pictures of fish they catch. People go to concerts, they'll send stuff, and then we just talk in it. More recently we've talked about uh the classes and all that stuff that we're scheduling and stuff. So it's all common good stuff. So it's been fun. Have you talked about goals, what you guys want to achieve in college together? It's these are the guys you're going to be with through, you know, four or five years. Uh, Not yet, like officially, but I'm pretty sure I know that we're all like minded and stuff. We want to obviously make bowl games and win Big Ten championships. So I think we have a lot of like minded guys in the group. It's such a different landscape now, Trevor. You know, when you committed you didn't know, or even when you signed, you didn't know that guys like Dejon Parker and Rusty Feth are coming out of the transfer yeah. portal. There's NIL. There's all this other stuff. Um, how do you kind of process that and just know that, you know, there there are so many more avenues now that, of guys you're going to be competing with? Yeah, it's, it's hard. I mean, because you never know what you're going to get these days in college football. But that's one thing that kind of drew me to Iowa is that at Iowa, you – you get to know a little bit more what you're going to get the consistency of the program and what coach Ferentz is going to bring in is, is key. And unlike some other programs where you, you really, really don't know what's going to happen, who's going to leave, who's going to come in. So like I was good with that part. When you think of offensive linemen in Iowa, what comes to mind, what characteristics or, or what do you feel like at least going in what you need to do to be successful? Uh, yeah, I feel like all of them are, pretty smart uh they know the game and then tough you know tough-minded kids uh and they'll get after it and 
be physical on the line. And so, yeah, and they preach those three things, tough, tough, smart, and physical. So I feel like all three of those things really fit in Iowa offensive linemen. Yeah, you look at some offensive lines, maybe like Wisconsin, at least Wisconsin previously, uh, just big, giant guys that just push people around. It's a different vibe, though, at Iowa, right? It's more being able to move and bend and athleticism. Um, do you feel like that fits you well? Yeah, I do. I feel like I can move well, pretty well for a guy my size. And like he said earlier, I think basketball helped with that, being able to run up and down the court. And I think you're right about how I wasn't just recruit the biggest, you know, 350 pounders. They like guys that can move up and up and down the field and get across the line. Uh, enough football talk. Let's get to know you a little bit more. Um, obviously, we talked about all the sports that you play, so that consumes a lot of your time, I'm sure. What do you like to do to just kind of unwind? You talked about fishing and things like that. Are you an outdoorsman? Uh, not really, to be honest. I mean, I'll go fishing with my friends every once in a while, but it's not like something I do a lot. Um, I don't know. I just like hanging with friends and family. I mean, like swimming, we go to the pools. Both my grandparents have pools. So I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of swimming hours in my days and then just hanging out with the friends. I don't know. We'll go out to eat. We'll play video games, just the normal stuff. Excuse me. Um, Video games wise, what are, what are your what are your go to games? Uh, I just play NBA and Madden, uh, just the sports games. I'm not never got into like the Call of Duty or anything like that. Um, you talked about going out to eat. Do you have uh, some favorite uh, restaurants or types of food that you enjoy? I mean, if I could pick any food, I'm going with wings. Um, my friends all we like Buffalo Wild Wings. There's one like 10 minutes away from my house. So we'll go there a lot. And then uh, more recently, Chicago's Pizza. Um, during the weekdays, they got a nice little buffet. So we'll go in there and do some damage. Up. Yeah, do some serious damage. <laughs> they throw you guys out of there after all? <laughs> no. I, I, we run them out of business, I would think. <laughs> um. We, and we have two buff. We have there's a Buffalo Wild Wings right downtown Iowa City, which you probably know. Yeah, I saw it there. I was excited when I saw that. <laughs> For sure. Um, what type of uh, um, family do you have? Big family? Do you guys? You know, is it is a close knit? Just kind of describe what your family situation's like. Uh, yeah, I have a close knit. Uh, well, like uh, immediate family. I have two sisters and a brother, and then my mom and dad. But I have like. 20 something first cousins and we have family parties pretty often um pool parties and stuff and they're all really supportive and always come to all my basketball football track they come to everything so i'm super thankful for them and yeah big and close close knit family so very thankful you talked about your dad being a football player are athletic throughout you know athleticism throughout your family yeah yeah so he played uh baseball in college but where did he play he played uh like juco at like lincoln trail and then he played ipy so okay cool and then my uh uncle played at und university of indianapolis football and then my grandpa played uh football at notre dame who's that what was your grandpa's name uh chick lauk chick lauk okay yep well, i'll have to research that now and i know people listening to this podcast probably will too yeah for sure he was on the uh 66 uh national championship team so nice it's cool. yeah it was cool um how about just you know movies tv shows books things like that to kind of un unwind a little bit you into that stuff uh not really books to be honest but um the movies let me think shows i like the office in like eighth grade and freshman year i watched the office but kind of got old when i like watched all of them um but then more recently just just the new stuff that comes out um movies i like the draft day is my favorite movie um i don't know i just think it's cool i watch it every time around the nfl draft <laughs> and see so yeah, i'd say that but i don't know Stranger Things is cool. Outer Banks is cool. 
just whatever's popular at the time. I might give it a watch. I'm not super into the Netflix and all that. Yeah, you have plenty on your plate and a lot to do. So it's probably not a lot of free time for that stuff. How's no. your family feeling about um, about saying goodbye to you, at least for a little while? It's a big stage in life, man, you know, going to college and, and uh, you know, moving out of the house. Yeah, they're, they'll probably be pretty emotional about it. But, I mean, we're just trying to, you know, take everything in the last couple of days, do as much as we can. We're going out to dinner tonight. So it's good, but they'll they'll be all right. I'm sure they'll come and visit. And then obviously on the breaks, I'll be back here and hanging out with them. So they'll be sad at first, but it'll, it's going to be worth it. It's all going to be all right. Where you are, I mean, you got Indiana and Purdue and Notre Dame, and now you're trotting around with Iowa gear on. Have you kind of have you been able to convert any friends and family? Oh yeah, I mean, I have a good amount of friends that have some Iowa gear now. So I'm trying to convert, and a lot of my family, I feel like everyone has at least a shirt. So I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that'll pick up as you get here and and, and time moves on. I like to give you guys a chance to kind of say something to the Hawkeye fans. I know. The, Fans are, have told me they're looking forward to your career starting. What would you like to tell Hawkeye fans before you get here and kind of what your, uh, I, I guess, goals are and motivation for uh, joining their program? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to come in we're working hard every day. I mean, I'm excited to get into the development of the program. I mean, I feel like I have a lot of potential, and I feel like with the weight room training and all that, I feel like I can become a really good, great player for the program. and looking forward to making an impact as soon as I can. And I'll just do whatever for the team. Like I said, I'll play tackle guard or center D line. It doesn't matter <laughs> wherever we need me. I'll go. And I'm just looking forward to winning games, winning bowl games. I want to win a big 10 championship and, you know, do everything I can uh, while I'm, while I'm there for however long. Music to the Hawkeye fans ears, championships and winning and, uh, versatility and a willingness to compete. I think all of those things are great and uh, definitely make you a good match for this program. And we look forward to uh, seeing you when you get up here, Trevor, we appreciate you being on the podcast and we wish you the best of luck. For sure. Thank you very much for having me. All right. We'll be back soon with another prospect podcast. Thank you for listening. Hawkeye fans. Thank you to our sponsors and we will talk to you soon.